the so-called stimulus bill was passed, America has lost 3.6 million jobs. Um, a new poll I saw that was out this week uh, revealed that 43% of Americans now uh, do not approve of the job that President Obama is doing on the economy. Um, so it would appear that at this point the Democrat plan for uh, economic recovery uh, is a failure. Um, but what are you working on, Congressman, right now to reverse the trend and uh, you know, create jobs for North Carolina? Well, you're right. I mean, clearly the Democrat stimulus plan failed, and it's failed the American people. We have higher unemployment today than we did when they passed the stimulus. Uh, but it's not simply enough to say I'm against the Democrat plan or I'm against the president's plan. But we have to offer an alternative vision, a, a real substantive plan that will improve the job situation in our economy moving again. So, uh, number one, we have to stop making the problem worse. Number two, we have to have pro-growth tax policies. Um, number three, we have to balance the budget um, and reduce our deficit. Those things will be a solid basis for economic recovery. And in Western North Carolina, we need an additional uh, item, which is uh, investment in education and higher education and training. Uh, that investment in the workforce of our people uh, will help the unemployment rate. Investing in education will have a major impact on your ability to get a job. So we need to make that case to people in high school uh, and people that are out of work right now that they need to invest in training uh, and we need to make that investment as a community and a nation. You stress the importance of small businesses in the private sector. I read that a professor at Harvard has estimated that even in the best case scenario, one dollar of government spending will only generate between 40 and 70 cents of economic growth, much less than if it was done in the private invest, if it was invested privately. That's right. And I mean, and this goes to the failure of the stimulus. The fact that government, government spends rapidly is supposed to stimulate the economy, except for the fact that people are rational. Small business people are rational. And they say, well, Higher taxes are coming in order to pay for this so-called stimulus. The president said they're going to raise taxes, right? They've passed tax increases to pay for this health care plan. Uh, and, and so that's part of their agenda. So people are holding back capital in this environment because they see the government spending so much and the deficit getting so out of whack and the debt getting so high. Um, what, if anything, uh, is preventing you or your Republican colleagues uh, in the House from implementing this plan for economic growth? Well, the fact that the Democrats have had have the largest majority in the House and the Senate, and they have control of the White House. Look, they, they've got they've got all the power in Washington, and so uh, Nancy Pelosi wields uh, her power, as Speaker of the House, with an iron fist, and won't bring up Republican ideas and Republican legislation. In the Senate, you have the largest Democrat majority they've had in generations. Uh, they only need to get one Republican vote and they can do whatever they want. And though the President t talks bipartisanship and preaches bipartisanship, he's never delivered it. So look, I've been fighting for ideas, not simply saying no to Democrat legislation, but truly fighting for what I believe and what my constituents believe. And that's the reason I was elected, is to fight for them.